Do I sound tired? Because I'm absolutely freaking exhausted. It's been a long day. Anywho, I hope you're all well and welcome to this week's Team of the Week predictions. So before we get into things, first of all, thanks to Criminal FIFA who made the new thumbnail design. I hope you all like it. I think the new one looks great. Secondly, I uploaded a Man of the Match Matter review the other day. Check it out if you get a chance to do so. I have to say it didn't get the response I hoped for, but all your support is always appreciated. And finally, do expect some squad builder challenge uploads later this week. Anyway, in the comments below, let me know who you think will get an inform in this week's team of the week. And also, if you could leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. So let's get into things. We start off with Oliver Bauman of Hoffenheim. He made seven saves and kept clean sheet in a win for his side. I will point out there were not many goalkeeper candidates this week, so I'm not too confident about either of my goalkeeper selections. The first defender this week I've gone for is Diego Godin, who got himself a goal in Atletico's 3-1 win over Sevilla. Next to him is Gary Cahill, who got a goal in Chelsea's 2-1 win. And finally, we have Klasinac, or Klasinic, I'm, I think it's Klasinac, I'm not sure. Anyway, this guy got the only goal in a 1-0 win for Schalke, and it actually looks like a very good in-form card. Javier Pastore got two assists in PSG's 2-1 win over Lyon. Once again, a very solid looking card for him. Casemiro could get another special card this week. I'm not too confident about this one if I'm fully honest though. He got himself a goal and man of the match in a 2-1 win for Madrid against Bilbao. Alejandro Gomez could get himself yet another in form and this card looks ridiculous. I actually think I've done the rating wrong on this one. But um, either way, if this card happens, it's going to be great. He got two goals and an assist in a 3-0 win for his team. And as I say, these informs for this guy are getting absolutely ridiculous. He's always cheap too, but the stats, he's definitely worth picking up and trying out. Moving on to Lorenzo Insigne, who got himself two goals and a man of the match in a 3-2 win for Napoli. And I think that win was a 3-2 win over Empoli. And now we come on to an inform which I'm not confident about. But I hope happens because this guy is on fire right now. Mbappotin of Monaco, hopefully stands for Arsenal in the future. Maybe, hopefully, I can hope, can't I? Um, he got himself another, uh, he got two goals and man of the match in a 3-0 win for Monaco. And as I say, this guy is on absolute fire right now. And he's like 19, which is, yeah, it's ridiculous. And that makes me feel incredibly old. Moving on to another French attacker, we have Anthony Modeste, who, um, yeah, got another hat-trick. So, 4-2 win for Cologne. He got a hat-trick, and this card is going to be freaking insane. So, um, yeah, I'll have to try this one out if I get chance to do so. The final player in my starting 11 is a player who, in my opinion, should have got the Player of the Month card. It's Romelu Lukaku, who got himself two goals and an assist in a 4-0 win for Everton against Hull. So that is my starting 11. Let's get on to the bench and reserves. So on the bench, we start off with Fabricio, who, once again, is another one that I'm not confident about. I've got like three Turkish League players in my predictions. I don't think there'll be three players from the Turkish League in the team of the week. But um, yeah, as I said, due to lack of options and also hat tricks, I just had to put all three in. Anyway, this guy, he made uh, six saves in a, te a 10 man, in a 10 man what? In a nil nil draw where his team was down to 10 men so that could be enough to get him the info and now we come on to Craig Dawson which um yeah he scored twice against Arsenal so you know we'll move on quickly and um, Craig Dawson got two goals in West Brom's 3-1 win 3-1 against Arsenal so um yeah we're now sixth which yeah does not bode well Anywho, moving on to a decent looking inform, we've got Skocker who got a hat-trick in a 3-0 win for his side. This would be a second inform with him being originally a silver and it looks pretty damn nice. Blerim Zimali is next, I'm not sure if I've got his name right. He got two goals and a good man of the match rating in a 4-1 win for his side. Once again, he's originally silver, so this will be a nice second in form if it does happen. Next up is a hat-trick hero named Barry McNamee. He got a hat-trick in a win for his side. I believe it was for Derry City, is that correct? It is. So uh, yeah, hat-trick for this man. Zlatko Janosovic got a goal and an assist in a 3-1 win for Werder Bremen. And then we come on to this lad who got himself two goals and two assists in a win for Brentford. I do also want to point out that Chris Wood of um, of Leeds is massively overdue and in form. So he could get thrown in as well. But I've gone for this guy instead because Pierce and that will probably sell more packs. And now we come on to the reserves which is five players who all got hat tricks. Now I don't think all of these players will get an inform because EA do tend to leave out um, hat tricks now and then. But um, I just didn't want to risk leaving any of these out because most of them are bound to get an inform. So 
This man, he got a hat-trick in a 3-1 win. Diara got a hat-trick in a 3-0 win. No, in a 4-0 win, sorry. Wilczek got a hat-trick in a 3-2 win. Buyuk got a hat-trick in a 3-2 win. And finally, uh, Nabil Gilas got a hat-trick in a 4-3 win. So guys, those are my predictions for this week's Team of the Week. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will catch you in the next one. And if this man gets an inform this week, I'm going to have to review him in an Arsenal kit.